up, my boy. Good afternoon. My name is Johnny Rucker. Uh, primarily, I come to speak for my daughter and Mr. Jackson. You got to understand one thing. Uh, when this fight started, so did mine. Because of the fact that we sit back and we say, where's the money going? Where's the money going? My daughter was stationed out at Our Lady of Providence, out on Beck Road in 96. If you remember that, there used to be a Catholic school out there that, that the Vatican decided to close down. So she moved out of Our Lady of Providence into CLS hands. Uh, her mother died in uh, 03. My daughter was broke by 05. Due to the fact that Janice Patterson, the overseer, uh, payee, was taking my daughter's money. She set a worker in her house, my daughter's home, by the name of Renee Calvin. This young lady, I understand, I, I know the rules, but I'm just saying. Uh, whenever my daughter got in her car, she had to pay to go anywhere she wanted to go. I thought it was uh, money earmarked for that, for the young people. So, come to find out, it was, but she was just uh, mentally disabled, like he said earlier, miss. And they are taking advantage of all the disabled people. I hate it because it's my daughter. Yes, I would go to jail for man. And I took my daughter out of CLS because of the fact that, no, anybody that gets over $1,100 that have to buy $25 a week worth of food, wrong program. You understand where I'm coming from? Are you giving my daughter $25 a week? But food. <coughs> so I took her in. She's been back at home the last five years. But the plight is, I never got any satisfaction. We talked about when they first gave us, quote unquote, Normie rights. Y'all remember that? We were all happy over there downtown. They gave us rights, right? That day I said, that's the worst thing they ever could have. Because now we're caught up in the norm. Because the law says you got as much rights as the normal person. <clears throat> so we supposed to have, but all the normal people that control our lives seem to look at us like we are idiots. Excuse my word, idiots. But at the same time, this plight of this young man and everybody else is in here, I'm going to tell you, it's the worst thing that's going on. Like I said before, my daughter's been trying to get a GED all her life. And she just can't seem to pass. But you want to know something? I keep pushing her. Just like I keep pushing here because, hey, God's not going to allow all this to continue. Because those who are healthy fail to realize that one day they will be the, the healing people. We may not be here to see it, but they will. And guess what? The rules are going to apply for them just like they're applying for us now. But if we don't make the change and really stand up, I, I fought. I, didn't, I forgot what building because I don't even come downtown anymore. I ran around calling this gentleman. I went into three other buildings before I walked across the street because I wanted to be here. I didn't just get in my car to go home. I kept going from, from the Ford building around the corner and I came here because I wasn't listening. You understand what I'm saying? To the location. So I'm listening today and I see everybody here. I'm going to tell you right now. Let's turn the page in history. Like I said, you 60s, 69, I just turned 66. I can't believe that I turned a senior citizen. And disabled people are just being abused and misused. Come on, y'all. We don't need anybody. All we got to do is set up a good defense and apply it. So however we do it, I'll die working with you guys. <clears throat> I gave my time for this country, and I'm going to give my time with you guys. This man has been on me. He said, Ruck, come, come, come. I'd be trying, but like, hey, I, I, I'm, full, I'm full of activities. And if I leave here, disabled kids are mad at me. I don't show up, he's mad at me. So I don't mind. But uh, the name of the game is I split my life to do something worthwhile. And like I said before, for those who came this afternoon, you should cherish the idea that we are special. Because look at everybody outside that door. They're concerned, but they're not here. They heard you, but they're not here. But that's okay, because I found out Few people read a whole lot of people when you got good minds. So thank you very much, and let's continue to support you.